Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of Hoppets. Today, joined by Tobias, major of macros. Yes. And to tell you guys, we're doing our NBCC compensation chair, and we're checking out a brewery that was at NBCC last year. We're checking out some Degar that we got from Beardome. So, thanks a ton to Beardome for the beer. This is the bluest. The bluest. The bluest. I said the bluest. <laughs> but yeah, it was, the, it was like the Danglish Pete. Uh, but this is one of their spontaneous wild ales with blueberries. And it looks like a lot of blueberries, judging by the color. H Oak barrels. It's 7%, and this is from last year. So it's pretty amazing that they got the guard bottles on Beer Dome. I think uh. it's, I don't know if any other web shops got any, but that's where we got it. So. But the uh, blueberries. Pretty dangerous in the sour beer. Yeah, it can go really sour. Yeah. So we'll see. We had the Brett and I, the Lucy, which was really, really good, which was mm. grapes. I think it was musket grapes. But uh, yeah, I mean, it looks nice. It's really dark, ruby red, um, almost pink, like purple. Pink foam. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it's even got more blueberry color than, or blueberry, like dark blue color than if we talk about something like uh, Cancio and Blobber, for example, yeah. that's a bit more bright. Oh, well, I've never had that one. <laughs> but it looks really nice. Let's see that hero. <laughs> we have a child in the, on the set, too, <laughs> which is playing around with. <laughs> she found <laughs> snacks. <laughs> the chili nuts. <laughs> but do you want to check out the hero? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Oh, that smells Ooh. really good. Like, much more funky and woody. Yeah. Almost like spearminty. Yeah. I was... I was thinking mint like mint minty leaves. blueberries yeah and it doesn't smell too sour no no not at all but yeah spearmint is, is the yeah, absolute like number one player for me like spearmint and blueberry but yeah that, it, it's like a funky spearmint it's so yep. weird but it smells nice very nice very blueberry forward and like woody oaky and yeah, it, I guess the spearmint is like herbal woody funk then, because I couldn't yeah, imagine yeah. it's anything other than funk that the spearmint comes from. No. It smells really nice now. It's like, almost like bubble gummy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to see where this one goes. Yeah, try it. Cheers and thanks Cheers. to Beer Dome. It's like really funky. More yeah. funky than sour, actually. Yeah. That's also one of the things that I've noticed. It's actually quite, it's almost smoky. Yeah. yeah. Or like herbal. Herbal, yeah. Herbal mineral risk. That's one thing I noticed with all the Degar beers I've had so far. It's like they're more funky than actually like like anything compared to a lot of the, the fruit in American sours. Like the one we had, the Fambo, uh, fa was it Fambos? But with like loads of O's. The Fambot. Fambot. But that was from Funk Factory. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of funk, that was like nowhere near as funky as this. No. It's almost cheesy. Yeah, that's true. That might it might also be kind of like a, a, a brie mm -hmm. uh, on the on the nose. Yeah, brie. and brie. it's like a brie cheese. Yeah, it's like a nice blueberry flavor, corky woodiness, like almost like minty spearminty funk and like slightly cheesy funk and like drying oak. It tastes really good though. It's really drinkable too. But it has to me. It has like almost a like a bitter herbal yeah taste. Mm. Yeah, it's, like a it, it's 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 not going. It's not the sour thing you get from the blue, blueberries. It's more like the blueberry the skin, structure, like yeah. the skins. Yeah. yeah, also blueberry skin. But again, it blueberry doesn't have like tons of flavor. No. Uh, so you know, it's more of a light flavored thing. <laughs> She's going to stab someone. <laughs> <laughs> She's playing with a bottle opener okay, for it's, wine. It's, it's <laughs> happening, it's happening. Okay, Finn is going to showcase his daughter. <laughs> this is Luna. This is my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and she is now a part of the review. <laughs> so, here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. So, what do you think of it? <laughs> do you like blueberries, <laughs> Luna? Luna. <laughs> and she is smiling. Do you like blueberries, Luna? Yeah. Have you ever had a blueberry? Better get started sometime. Do <laughs> you want to try what blueberry tastes like? No. <laughs> this should be our new salesperson for beer. Ladies. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people would agree with that. But. What did you think about the beer, Peter? Did you tr try it yet? I have tried it and I uh, like it. But uh, I have been more concerned with her. Of course. Yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
What do you think? Do you see what we're talking about? Almost minty. Yeah, it is almost minty. And also, what I like about it is it, it's it's not quite as sour as the raspberry one we had. Yeah. Which uh, mm. makes it amplify the uh, um, the, the berries more. Also the funk, and it's like really tannic, and like like as, as you said, like blueberry skin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, she's staring. It's it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, I get it. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> But no, it's really nice. Yeah, we got kids on the roof now. That's what's gonna happen in the next few years in the future, guys. All of a sudden, it's gonna be with children. Yeah, we're gonna do the children segment with beer. Yeah, Peter's trying to um, uh, reach a new demographic, yeah. <laughs> a new audience. Brett, what do you think? Or the beer? I haven't tasted it yet. Okay, well, we can say funky blueberries, spearmint, mm. and like it's very woody. I think it's very good. I'm gonna go 95. I really enjoy it. I think this is really good, very nice, funky sour beer, and it's super well balanced. But you have to enjoy really funky stuff. What do you think, Tobias? Uh, I'm gonna stick with you on the 95. Almost a tad smoky. Yeah. Yeah. I said the exact same thing. Yeah. Like almost like smoky. Wood. Yeah, uh, it's and, and minty, but it's, I think it's really good. So. Do you agree with a 95, Luna? <laughs> <laughs> it would be amazing if her first word was 95. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about you, Glenn? <coughs> well, uh, yeah, I know. I, mean, I, I, right I think now, it's uh, quite fine. I'm, 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 I'm around a 94, <laughs> my, 93, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a nine. Word was a bit better than this one, but. I it's, it's yeah. nice. It has more funk. <laughs> yeah, it's much more funky. 94. 93, 94. Peter, that's She can play with cork. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this review <laughs> with a very special guest <laughs> yeah. for this MBCC compensation chair. I want to thank you for joining us today, Luna. It was very mm -hmm. nice to have you on the show. <laughs> She's joined the hype train. <laughs> She's joined the hype train. Yeah. Get her started on her. Get him started on an early age. <laughs> Getting hyped about sour beer. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> but if you guys had a chance to try the gods, the bluest, let us know what you thought of it. It was quite a different review, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, very nice. So check out Beer Dome. They don't have any uh, Degari at the moment, but you know, you never know in the future if they're going to get more. So keep an eye out. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up. Can you do a thumbs up, Luna? No. <laughs> bye bye. Luna. <laughs> that was a thumbs up. <laughs> Hello. And we're gonna say yeah. cheers. It's good. It's good. <laughs> See you guys in another beer review.